time we have our first interview of the day. And our guest for today is, um, well, I'm trying to look for the right words for this one because Yanni, he is a serial entrepreneur. He's a, an entertainment enthusiast. He's a fashion designer. He is international. He's not just Kenyan. He's literally international. And he goes by the name Dennis. Dennis, how are you doing this morning? Very good. Good to see you. Thank you so good much for coming through. Too. Glad that you could make time to be with us today. All right, so without wasting any more time, I'll just uh, I'll kindly let you introduce yourself. I didn't think I did justice to you right there. So mm -hmm. kindly, please introduce yourself one, one more time. Okay, my name's uh, Dennis Osadebe. Right. I'm from Nigeria, but based in Dubai. Mm -hmm. I'm a fashion designer, and also I make movies. Right. Yes. I've seen that. And your company, Didi. D and D clothing. D and D. Oh, yeah. D, 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 D clothing. Yes. All right. Tell us about that. How did that come into place? How did? How, when did you found it? Uh, what was the inspiration behind it? Just give us a little background. Yeah, D and D clothing was given birth in 2016 mm -hmm. uh, in the, in the UAE. Before then, we were into uh, movies back in Nigeria, and uh, you know when you're making movie, there's a lot of costumes and there's a lot of things that you have to do. So, but seeing that most of the things that we do, everything comes from Western world. Yeah. And uh, that is what prompted me to say no, that I don't want to do this anymore and I want to go into fashion. And that is why we um, give birth to our brand in Dubai. All right. Yeah. And I would imagine when you're in Nigeria, you're, you, you're working with this company that produces movies. I guess you are always the one who's working on uh, costumes. Like you would see maybe the, the cast members, you look at the style of the movie and you're like, no, 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 no. I don't think this is going to work with her. I, don't, I think we should do this. We should do that. Did you ever find yourself doing that, like customizing their clothes right before they start shooting? Uh, did you ever do that? Maybe yeah. that's where you realize that, you know what, maybe I should concentrate more on fashion. Actually, it's my company. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I give birth to the company. It's oh, called DCS right. Entertainment. Right. And I started that company 2008 in Nigeria. And then with the effects uh, that were using uh, Z7, you know, um, we have very uh, nice, uh, then we're using uh, Protus mm -hmm. uh, 003. Right. And uh, we find out that even when we're making movies that, uh, because when we were doing that, there was nothing like YouTube, there was nothing like, uh, so you need to print CDs, you need to do something. When you're looking for so certain kind of costumes, you know, you watch an American movie, you see that the costume designer will create it from scratch, but then we can do that. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that we look at, we said, no, we cannot continue this way, the Africa has to change and mm -hmm. we have to change the mindset of the people. And we start creating our own custom locally then. Yeah. And uh, from there, the inspiration came for fashion designer. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you create African prints, but in Western style. Tell us about that. How does that work? Yeah, we started with Ankara, Ketenge, mm -hmm. like Maasai. Yes. But you see, most time when the, um, people hear about African brands, so the perspective is, okay, just local, this kind of local <laughs> fabric. So yeah. we, we decided to change our mindset. So most of the things that we do, we now uh, modernize our normal African uh, Ankara to uh, Western. So presently now we are printing our own fabric mm -hmm. and uh, we are taking it to the next level. Right. And uh, your company, D&D, &D, is the only legally registered African, uh, African prints company in the UAE? Yes. How did you know about that? <laughs> yeah, but because when we came in then, uh, there is no, most of the Africans are bringing fabric just from Africa to right. showcase in Dubai. And then we went around, um, there is no any, any African brand then. Mm -hmm. So we're the first to register it there in UAE and we're the also first to launch it there. Yeah, you have African shows, you have different kind of shows from Africa, but there's nothing like a brand right. that is by African. Right. register but now we have few i think uh, we have like i think last year we have like two uh, different african brand that are coming which is very good mm -hmm. and we're proud to see that as well 
right at least the industry is growing yes. you're getting some competition yes. and that keeps you on your toes it keeps you yes. working yes. so that's great and um also being a fashion designer you have to be fashionable yourself right so maybe you can tell us about your style how would you describe your style as Danish? how mm. <laughs> what, what comes to your mind when you think fashion what comes to your mind yeah. how would you describe uh, uh, as Danish, you see um where i'm coming from like nigeria you know, most of uh, Nigerians yeah. are very uh, fashionista. That's but, true. But me, as a person, why we decide to create our own, um, our own uh, uh, sizes right now? Because you know, most African men have tummy. So what we do is that. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, That's so true. what we do, yeah. we decide to create our own um, a little bit longer than on uh, normal usual uh, mm -hmm. uh, shares. So we create our own style that is very interesting. That. Uh, if you see even our shares, our take shares, it's a little bit like one, two inch longer than oh. normal sizes. So it's yeah. something that anybody can rock it and it's amazing. Right. Yeah. And now everybody thinks mm. they know fashion. Everybody have their own style in fashion. And I don't know, um, if you told me to describe fashion, I would have my own definition. But today is not about me. So to you, what does fashion mean to you? When someone thinks fashion, when someone talks fashion, what does that mean to you personally? For me, fashion is food. You know, right. if really you enjoy it because mm -hmm. the way you eat food, that is how you want to look good. Mm -hmm. And you know, looking good is a good business, yeah? So mm -hmm. for us, fashion is something that we want to take to the next level. Right. You know, fashion is something that um, Africa still believe in this kind of, um, you know, yes, people are not encouraging you that much because an African brand, when you see it, oh, it's not uh, original, it's mm -hmm. not this, but we're changing that mindset. That is why we decide as well as um, industry, we decide to go with the best. Mm -hmm. We decide to go with the best fabrics from Europe, from Italy. Okay. We decided to go with fabric from London, so we are working with different vendors that supply, same company that supply, for example, Gucci, mm -hmm. uh, fabric is the same company that we buy fabric from. Right. Hoda Feed. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And I would imagine like it's a struggle coming up with a design, being a fashion designer, mm -hmm. you know, being a stylist is different. You just go pick someone else's clothes and then you see do they fit and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, being a designer means you create something from scratch. Yes. Tell us about that. How what, do you have to be in the, how does that happen? The creative process behind that? What's the inspiration? How do you get, get inspired? I would want to imagine. Uh, for me, it's imbued. It's something that affects you. The first needs to have a passion in what you're doing because if you don't have passion in what you're doing you cannot be able to reach anywhere mm -hmm. so what we do is that when we wake up sometimes we decide to check which are the biggest brand we have in this world then we pick 10 biggest brand and what motivate them to be a big a big brand mm -hmm. so we go back to our draw, draw board and then we decide to start scaling something in African way because right. apart from you being a fashion designer you need to tell the story of Africa so that is why you see even our print also has something that comes from Africa. We're not just printing. Mm -hmm. So we have different kind of historical uh, uh, story that we embed into the system of our fabric right. before we now bring it to reality. Right, and you talked about um, bigger brands being motivated and uh, doing great and the reason why they are staying at the top. So what motivates you? What motivates, as D&D, &D, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you going despite all the challenges? I can imagine there are many. What keeps you motivated and going? What keeps me is, you see, in, our, in, in, in the world we live in today, Africa is left behind. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when you see brands like Gucci, like... Uh, I can even use Zara as an example. You see, right. every African wear Zara. Every African wear uh, Louis Vuitton. They wear different kind of brand. But where is this African brand that the world is wearing? That is my question every day. Where is this brand that I can say, okay, this brand is originated from Africa yes. that the whole world is wearing? Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. In my own uh, understanding, I didn't find one. And this is our motivation, this is our push. And today, by the grace of God, already our brand is selling all over the world. That is amazing. That's yes. great inspiration even to the people who are watching at home. Maybe they want to get into the same industry. I think that you, that could really drive them. And uh, right, just that, what we're talking about, people watching at home and someone uh, wanting to become a designer. What do you think someone needs to have? Because I, you don't, I don't think you would just wake up one day and you're like, you know what? 
I'm becoming a designer without going to school, without even having any background in that. You just wake up and you're like, I'll be a designer. I think it's a field that has money and I want to have some of this money. To you, what do you think someone should have in order to become a designer? Courage, mm -hmm. boldness, beliefs. Right. Because without believing in yourself, nobody will believe in you. First, you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in your ability, yeah? Mm -hmm. And what you can be able to do. And see yourself beyond just Kenya, right. if you're from Kenya. Mm -hmm. See yourself beyond East Africa. See yourself beyond Africa. See yourself beyond, for example, even um, Africa and uh, um, what Middle East, you understand? Right. Because when you wake up one day and look at yourself and ask yourself a question, where do you want to see yourself in the next three years? Mm -hmm. Where do you want to see yourself in the next six years? So those are the aim that facts you need to absorb inside you. Then you can create your drawing board. Okay. The road is not easy. It's never easy. <laughs> but if yeah. you believe in yourself, I think uh, the sky is just the beginning. Right. Yeah. And are you on you? You've talked about Zara. You've talked about Gucci. And one thing these big brands have, the main problem they have is the knockoffs. They flood the, the, the market. We've seen people wear Adidas. You see, the, the main company is Adidas, but then they lose a lot because people would rather wear the cheap knockoffs. Is that a challenge you're facing currently? Do you ever have someone, it's a design, this came from you. You made this from scratch and you have a price that uh, this brand is going for. But then you find someone with the same design but selling cheaper. Do you ever face such? Yeah, we, we from the beginning, yes, we do that because then we're using just normal Ankara. And you know normal Ankara, anybody can buy it in the yes, market. Yes, so anyway. when you create something that is amazing and you take a lot of time to do that, uh, before you know it's already in the market, same design. So that is why we decided now to start creating our own print. Right. So that is why we're doing our own. Whatever we produce today must have mm -hmm. an, uh, uh, a logo. So these are the things that now, yes, you can copy it, but before mm -hmm. you come, we change again. Before you come, we change again. <laughs> so right, those so are the things that we are pushing now. Yeah, for mm. instance, let's say mm. you, you come up with a design that you really like and someone produces it mm. and then hits the market, he's making more money than you. Mm. Do you have anything um, legally, like, uh, do you have anything like can, that can protect you? In, if you know this is the company that's doing the same thing that I'm doing and they're selling it for cheaper, legally, are you able to sue them or once they're in the market there's nothing you can do yeah for sure if you yeah. notice that they are using your name mm -hmm. you can sue them right but if they are creating their own design with whatever whatever you don't have <laughs> Copying the right. your design with yes, their own name. Yeah, yes you don't have any right to do that but uh -huh. if somebody use your name and you find out definitely you can sue that company right yeah okay and I understand mm -hmm. uh, right now it's been tough for everybody in all sectors all businesses were affected because of COVID, we can imagine so not so many shows. Uh, live people do virtual shows. We don't attend as many events as before. Has it affected you as D and D? Has it affected you personally? It, yes, in a it way? does. Because we we came into Kenya and uh, also we made this pandemic. Right. Because we came last year by January, we we're putting things in order. By March, April, the thing came, mm -hmm. and it affected us. Yeah. Uh, even from now, we have not even launched officially, like because we plan to do runway. For example, we are two or two fifty models. Right. So up till now, we are still looking at the enabling environment that can give us the chance to to exhibit and also show East Africa our product. Right. Yeah. So um, another thing um, is that fashion keeps evolving. Every single day, we have new styles, new designs coming up in the market. So how do you keep yourself updated with the current trends? Yeah, we 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 are <laughs> even we are even running faster than because you see normally brands create two collection in a year, but what we do now we are trying to see how we create four collection in a year because Africa still need to know exactly what is going on and embrace you know their story, which is embrace you buying also made in Africa. So those are the things that we are as well uh, pushing. You know, for people to also encourage us because. You know, when you buy made in Africa, you're encouraging the fashion designers to do more. Right. So you're, you're, you're boosting their morale to create mm -hmm. something that is amazing. Right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Presently now in Kenya, what we're doing mostly is wedding. We're doing a lot of wedding right oh, now nice. in Kenya. Yeah we're, yeah, we're doing a lot of wedding because also we have different kind of uh, 
our team. Mm -hmm. That is uh, amazing here. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you've lived in Nigeria, in Dubai, you're now in Kenya. I can imagine you've met all sorts of people with different backgrounds, even artists, big international artists. So who can you say you've dressed that is so big, everybody knows them, you couldn't even believe that they wanted you to dress them? Do you have that one person in mind? I did. I yeah. did. In, in, in Nigeria, I've dressed uh, different artists. I've dressed different big artists. I've dressed different movie actors. Right. And in Kenya also, I've dressed uh, one of your big stars as well, uh, Jeff Konange. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Jeff, I, I, yeah. I've dressed Eugenio Malwe. I've oh, dressed, politician, uh, yeah, yes. I've dressed uh, True Love magazine. I've dressed a lot of people here as well, mm -hmm. you know. I've dressed... Uh, 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 Eric, he has come to my place. I've dressed, oh, yeah, so, so many of them. So yeah, many yeah, so you many people. You can't even keep yes. <laughs> Yeah, so many of them. Yeah. Yes, mm. and um, as you wind up, because of time, mm. I would love to know uh, what has been the highlight, like the highest moment. You, like you got there and you're like, you know what, this is the reason why I did this. Just give us that one moment. Yeah, that one moment was when we involved in the World Fashion Award. Right. And we came out number three. Mm. Yes. It, Across the world. Yes, it wow. was uh, Italy came out first. We beat America. We beat different kind of people because our designs was something that nobody believed. It. Mm. You know, coming from an African inspiration and this kind of thing is moving. So those are the things that also give us this bigger zeal. So that means if this can happen, so we start seeing ourselves beyond just mm -hmm. Dubai or Africa. Mm -hmm. So now we're having representative in US, in Singapore. Singaporeans <laughs> are wearing our dress. Wow. So this also gives Africa you, to the yeah. So this also gives you the zeal that no matter what uh, it takes, hard work pays. You know, yes. with time, you always reap what you sow. Right. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Mm. So um, before we go, we want to know what are you guys planning? Do you have anything coming up that is big that people can check it out? What is the future? What should people expect? Where What's the future of D&D? Well, for now, D&D has the <laughs> best suit uh -huh. in the world. Right. I can say so. Our suit is something that is amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's also fast selling. We're selling more than um, 200 pieces in a week. Our amazing. suit is selling in America like crazy. And I can imagine and it's yeah. cheaper than the Italian suits. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And also have the same Italian standard. Right. Because also in Kenya here, we also brought expatriate, you know. Mm. So we train our local... Uh, uh, people here and they are doing an amazing job. Yeah. So you check out in our suit and check out our bomber jacket is mm. first of its kind, by the way. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> we love that. All right. Mm. So thank you so much for coming through. And I know there are people who are like, okay, now Dennis, uh, you've talked about suits, you've talked about all these things. Now, where do we find them? So do you have a website? Do you have social media? Yes. Where do people find so that? We do D and D clothing. Mm -hmm. You know, our website also is D and D clothing. So it's D. And then and D, or yes. just DD? Any which way you find oh, us. Either right. D and or D <laughs> slash D, you oh, can still find clothing. us. Yes. Across yes. all social media. Across all social media. Oh, yes. that's amazing. Yeah, clothing, yes. We love that. Thank you so much for coming through. Do you have any shout outs? I can see you brought a friend. So yeah. maybe, <laughs> maybe shout outs and to the guys maybe who are watching the show before you go. Yeah, shout out. My biggest inspiration is my woman who is around me. She, yeah. she also motivated me to do more. Right. You understand? She made me see beyond my ability. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because before I was looking at just local content or mm -hmm. whatever to see just in a way. But when she came into my life, she opened your eyes she opened and your my mind. Eyes and I see myself now beyond even imagination. Yeah. Right. Imagine that. Nesh, Mleskia, like Nesh is, okay, you can't see him, but we're going to be talking about it. You see what they say behind every successful mind? There is a woman, so shout out to her for making you <laughs> do that. Woman. And shout out to you for woman. recognizing uh -huh. her. Now mm -hmm. we're still here, the hashtag is, uh, is cute. cute yeah. All right, thank you so much for staying tuned. We're going to take a very short break, but we are coming right back. We have a lot more show for you ahead. Thank you so much, Danis, for coming you. through. Thank we appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. All Thanks right. a lot.